Yeah, Steve, Washington University researchers say they developed a mouse model of the virus, which will help researchers around the world work to develop vaccines. And the need for a vaccine is growing as states like California, Texas, Arizona and Florida are seeing a second wave of cases. We know that our hospitals are filling up and that uh, the number of remaining ICU beds and hospital beds left for other purposes is declining. The health director of Maricopa County in Phoenix, Arizona, with those discouraging words, the state's daily new cases have spiked in the last two weeks. We're getting reports of almost 600 cases per day in comparison to just an average of 200 cases per day about two weeks ago. Locally, cases are rising in Missouri. The state reported 274 new cases and eight deaths today. That's the most since May 19th. Better news in Illinois, 625 new cases were reported today. That's the lowest number in a single day since March 30th the World Health Organization. And this isn't over. And even in, in countries that have had the, um, the success in suppressing transmission, there is that risk that a resurgence remains. Health experts say developing a vaccine is critical. Washington University researchers are doing their part to help. They've developed a mouse model which can help research vaccines for COVID-19 and help better understand the complexities of the virus. But until a vaccine, local leaders continue to push testing and contact tracing efforts. Starting Monday, we encourage anyone in St. Louis County who has frequent contact with those outside of your household to be tested for COVID-19. Today, some sobering news of the economic impact from the coronavirus. The head of the Federal Reserve saying millions of people will not get their jobs back when the country fully reopens. And a new government report released today says 35 million people, mostly senior citizens and poor households, have still not received their stimulus money. Steve. All right, Corey, not good.